Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to be telling you guys why I think Conor McGregor's self-proclaimed greatest comeback of all time in 2024 will fail. Miserably. As you may know, McGregor announced his return to the UFC in an unhinged video on New Year's. After a two-year hiatus from the sport, he has said that he wants to fight the current lightweight champion Islam Makhachev, the guy that Jake Paul beat Nate Diaz, Dustin Poirier who beat McGregor twice in a row leading up to his injury, and even Justin Gaethje. At this point, there isn't anyone that McGregor hasn't called out in the lightweight division to fight. McGregor has claimed that he learned from his mistakes and is ready to reclaim his throne, but I'm here to tell you why that's not going to happen, and why Conor McGregor's comeback will be a disaster. Firstly, his past is prime. McGregor is north of 35 years old now, and he hasn't fought since 2021, when he suffered a career-altering injury to his leg, before which he got knocked out by Poirier. That was his third loss in his last five fights. He clearly has a semblance of his speed, power, and chin, but it's nowhere near what it was half a decade ago. He's not the same fighter in terms of mindset that he was when he was dominating the featherweight and lightweight divisions, which is what people claim, but he never really has had an eventful lightweight run. He's literally 1-3 in, in the division, with his only win being against Eddie Alvarez for the championship, which he never defended. He's a shadow of his former self at featherweight, where he never defended his belt. Got a shot at the lightweight championship off of beating Nate Diaz in a rematch after losing to him in their first encounter, and now he's facing an albeit an opponent that's older, but he's much more hunger and has all the skills to make him look like a fool in Michael Chandler. Secondly, he's not focused anymore. McGurker's been busy with his other ventures such as his whiskey brand, his clothing line, and his charity work knocking out and up old people at bars and women in bathrooms, respectively. He's always been involved in several controversies such as his legal troubles, his below-the-belt social media feuds, his crazy Twitter rants and his personal issues. It feels as if he's lost his passion and dedication for the sport, and he's more interested in headlines than in winning fights at this point. He's not training hard enough, he's surrounded by yes-men and bantamweights that he's sparring and getting the better off, and he's not taking his opponent seriously. He's underestimating Chandler, who has been working hard to improve his game, he's been in the gym day in and day out ever since tough, and Chandler has had to make a name for himself on the top of the division due to his grit and his power and his explosive wrestling. Thirdly, he's not adaptable enough anymore. McGregor's always relied on his relatively superior striking skills, especially his left hand and his power to win his fights. He's never been a well-rounded fighter, and he's always struggled against wrestlers and grapplers, such as Khabib and Chad Mendes. Of course, he had good moments against Khabib, but he did get eventually overwhelmed, and he was facing a lot of adversity against Chad Mendes, even though he won that fight. Connor's also shown a lack of cardio and endurance, and he tends to fade in the later rounds, something that's plagued him ever since Nate Diaz exposed that flaw in his game and he's not evolved his game or added new weapons to his arsenal. He's still the same fighter he was 5 years ago, the same fighter that lost to Diaz, Khabib and now Poirier, barring the fact that he thinks that he's some kind of world class boxer now because he lost by TKO to Floyd Mayweather, and he's not really ready to face the new challenges and threats that the sport has to offer. He may be prepared for what Chandler has to offer, who has a well-developed, versatile and effective style mixing up his striking and wrestling and submissions, but I feel like Chandler needs and wants that win more than McGregor at this point of their careers. Because unlike McGregor, he doesn't have hundreds of millions waiting for him in the bank when he gets home. If he loses, that's it for his time at the top of the UFC. The only thing McGregor has going for him is Chandler's tendency not to have any fight IQ in key moments of the fight. So there you have it. Those are the main reasons why I think McGregor's comeback will fail. MMA is such an unpredictable sport, but even though that is the case, I don't think he has what it takes to be Chandler. And I don't think he will ever be the same fighter he once was. He's just chasing a pipe dream of a championship at this point, And he's setting himself up for another eventual humiliating defeat. What do you guys think? Do you agree or disagree with me? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for more MMA content. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.